next demo, which is take this particular balance and say, let me go and withdraw it with the help of the workflow tool of the DAP. So you come to card pay and you want to move the tokens and you want to withdraw those tokens through our bridge software. And what this does is that you, through the connected MetaMask, it checks whether you have enough balance and tells you it takes about 87 cents to actually um, uh, withdraw this token because you have to pay the fee to bring this token back to mainnet because mainnet every transaction costs. Uh, that seems okay. So you keep going and you go to your wallet. So instead of bringing it from your depot, you want to take it from your merchant account, right? Your merchant account, you just earn this 137. Let me bring $100. So I would say how much you want to withdraw and I want to do $100 worth. And this is because of DAI and, and, uh, and, and it's a little bit more in USD value, but we let's measure in DAI. And this is now where we have to go to the mobile app and say, do you want to withdraw this fund? So this is a very nice looking transaction that summarize what you're going and they say, okay, let me go confirm. And that allows me to like, okay, now the next step happens and it begins the bridging. Uh, it execute a transaction on Soko, which is the actual movement into the bridge and that's completed. And then the next step is the bridge explorer. This is a little bit slower in a test net. Uh, this is a testing infrastructure and this provides essentially the uh, information necessary to give the smart contract in mainnet the information. So now the mainnet smart contract uh, knows that you are ready to uh, uh, bridge this information back to your own account. So this is already landed on mainnet. We're just waiting for this final step called a claim token step. So we have to sign an additional request. And this, we have, this is where you have to pay the ETH to actually move this from the bridged pool to your own wallet in MetaMask. And now this is the completion. You withdrew your earnings, which hopefully is more than $100 if you uh, run a coffee shop for a day. And this shows what the remaining balance are in this particular depot and you can return to the dashboard. So these tools, including other tools that, uh, that we have included here, um, such as Depositing token, if you want to bridge some token, creating a merchant services, and soon the ability to actually issue and buy, uh, issue prepaid card you can do, but buy prepaid card directly from this thing. So the dashboard and the wallet works very nicely together to provide this kind of cohesive experience.